Oh, you guys thought I was done about the dandelions? Nah, we're gonna drop one more real quick. Yeah, we're gonna have to put the spotlight on one of my favorite plants out here for just a little bit longer. If you don't already know, my name is Herb Gotti. I'm a clinical herbalist and holistic health coach. I go from the forest to the lab, making tinctures and compounds and teas and whatever it takes to make sure that our clients have exactly what they need to combat whatever toxins we're running into. Just living in this uh, ginormous industrial complex of a system that's not really for our health, if you know what I mean. Back to the star of the show, the dandelion. Pow! So we're gonna talk real quickly, features and science. One of the things that we always notice about dandelions is that they always seem to be growing in compacted soil. You can see dandelions growing in between the cracks between like two pieces or slabs of concrete, thus breaking up compacted soil. In the human body, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna loosen up stagnation, loosen up compaction, especially in the liver. So technically dandelions are actually talking to you. So whenever you see a dandelion growing in a soil, it's letting you know that that soil does not have enough calcium in its uppermost layers. So the dandelion root actually pulls the calcium, draws it up, and then drops it on top through its aerial parts when it dies off. Absolutely stunning and amazing. I always said nature talks to you. You just gotta learn how to listen. Yeah, this one's owned. I can't mess with this. All right, buddy, you beat me. So if dandelions actually draw up calcium, what do you think it's gonna do inside the body? Pull up calcium? Yup. Like have a direct effect on calcification in certain organs where stones usually build up, like, uh, like your feet or uh, your gallbladder, your kidneys. Oh, that's why.